Hello everybody, time for some Phantom Liberty awesomeness because CD Projekt Red really overdid themselves with some very nice environments and locations here we have um, the Colonel's party we also have Ken Reeves here and you will notice at this party there's also a stage and there will be a nice show later but I didn't catch it unfortunately but just look at all the characters here and how uh, classy they're dressed futuristic still nice and the Phantom Liberty update added a new menu here the relic menu which has some new cool features I didn't get to use much of them only the one that exploits their vulnerability they're uh, more inclined to a um, physical approach I um, like doing things for uh, afar I did the net running tree We have here one of the main protagonists from this add-on named Songbird, cute little thing. Thank you, having fun. Gin and tonic, please. Say, I'm looking for a friend. You're supposed to be here. Okay. Does your friend have a name? Song Song. Korean. Around 30. Hey, you look a little lost. Here is the interaction with Songbird. It's actually the first time you meet her in person and you are a bit amazed she's mostly a perp robot now. Now to show you how the new city, Rundown Dog City, looks. Everything uh, is, of course, destroyed by the wars and the political factions and guerrilla fights from here. Everybody is trying to get you. So you have the police, and which is actually a military presence here. And a lot of bandits, anyone could attack you in any moment. So it's very dangerous in Dark City. Of course, you will have some new cars that you'll see to be able to navigate this uh, rough environment and uh, although the city itself is not that big it's easy to get from one side to another it's much more difficult to navigate through it and uh, it has vertical and subterranean layers you will see if you go into play the missions here most of them will take you with the elevator up or down 
here we're going in um more uh, friendly zone to put it <laughs> lightly where we're going to meet the other protagonists played by um, Idris Elba Reed And of course to show you some of the dangers lurking at every step in Dog City. Here we have a fight between two factions and I'm just uh, watching them. And of course stealing their weapons afterwards. <laughs> One such car is the one you're going to see right now. Special made for this rugged terrain. You get it as a reward for a mission you'll see if you play the game of course. Which one? It's more compact and it has a higher um, tires for you to be able to navigate easier to here. This gun is a special gun, you get it from a character in Night City, it's a cheetah gun. It's a power pistol, very efficient when you need to do high damage. You are going to get it from a mission if you do some things, <laughs> better not to spoil it. But it's a nice weapon. Not only guns were added to this um, add-on, always also some uh, new cars and what's more interesting, you will have the possibility to buy cars cheaper if you do some recurring missions. Yes, in Phantom Liberty you have recurring missions and they are given to you by uh, Muammar Fixer. 
sometimes on the map you will find uh, that special sign you saw earlier. You go to the car, it's usually guarded by up to three or four guards. Most of the time just one. And you have to deliver it to a specific location, which always changes. This is the gate to Dog City. Now you have clearance to go in and out, but you have to do a check-in before you go in and out. Plus, can I wonder what happens if you don't have the authorization? Probably you won't even get here. It uh, didn't happen to me, I, don't, I also didn't get out of the car to see what happens, probably it won't be a very long fight. So on the road to where you need to get with the car, some dangers could come, like someone could be following you and you need to get rid of them, the police might follow you if you don't respect the laws and of course you hit pedestrians or stuff like that. Uh, also, there are some timed missions, you need to have uh, the car uh, delivered in a certain amount of time. Oh, and like this one here, you need to deliver uh, the vehicle in the best condition you can. This is a bit easier to do because you don't need to rush, you just avoid the traffic and uh, you will accomplish this objective. Of course, when you are going to be followed, it's harder to escape the pursuers, you can try to shoot them with your guns. And even harder the timed missions, I don't know if they're correctly calculated, but sometimes you have a car that doesn't go much more than 60 or 80 miles per hour, and uh, you need to be there fast, and you just can't. <laughs> no matter how fast you are driving, and if you avoid all the traffic, uh, you still won't make it in time. Probably not all the missions are uh, perfectly calculated, but most of them are, and the rewards you get if you accomplish all the objectives are obviously higher than if done. But you can fail the optional objectives and still deliver the car, you'll get a lesser euro dollar steady rewards, but you still get the discount and most of the times you get some cool weapons, some shards, it's worse to do these missions if you want to get more money. I skipped the road because it was just driving and here you have the rewards for these missions. The rewards are cool. And now to show you a bit of the um, environment in uh, Night City in the city center with one of the best cars in the game. You can see that everything looks much better on the 2.0 update and uh, Phantom Liberty add-on. And of course, I promised to show you how the cars are bought. You could also see in my previous uh, video that Muammar now sells them by categories. And the new nice feature they introduced uh, here is the weaponized vehicles. I thought I uh, made a uh, demonstration with that also, but unfortunately not. This was is one of the most powerful weaponized vehicles. It also has rockets and machine guns. You have three rockets um, and after that you need to wait for it to load, but you will have limitless rockets. And if you are in an open uh, area, you can make use of them and cause havoc. It's pretty fun. Of course, police will get after you stronger and stronger if you do this and you won't last forever, but it's still fun to cause mayhem using those weaponized vehicles. And of course they're very useful if you need them in a chase or fight or something like that. I didn't uh, use them for anything but fun. So anyway, these were parts of the new things you have in the um, Phantom Liberty add-on. 
like the recurring missions, the new cars, the new weapons. Uh, and of course, there's a nice new story involving Songbird, the character you saw there. A spy mission with presidents and the um, CIA, or FBI, or how they are called here. So, if you enjoyed this video, and I hope you did, don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification button. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.